To recognize open intelligence, it's the greatest gift. To recognize open intelligence, the greatest gift. It's, um, we don't need to really anymore wait or hope for some kind of experience or thought emotion that we might have during the day that will make us feel happy or at ease or relaxed or powerful or stable. We, we see it in the flow of all of our data streams, in all of our experiences, our sensations, our thoughts and emotions. Every day is like that, the flow of gratitude, the flow of benefit, the flow of powerful human beings exalting themselves. And in every moment, all of us have a choice. You see, every moment is, is the powerful choice to rely on the descriptions of our data streams, to emphasize them, to indulge them, to replace, to avoid, or to allow them to be as it is and rely on open intelligence. You see how powerful it is to allow everything to be as it is and rely on powerful open intelligence, on that intelligence that unites us all with great, great benefit. It's, uh, it's an intelligence that provides only benefit to all in every moment, whether we're positive, negative, or nothing is going on. We can be of great benefit to ourselves and others. We can always serve ourselves and other people. We can always rely on that power to know, the power to know our thoughts and emotions, the power to know our experiences, we go directly to the source, open intelligence. And that's the great treasure. And that's the abundance that we have as human beings, the abundance of our, our mind, our qualities and activities, our gifts and talents. Everything is for the benefit of all. Suddenly we recognize that all. We see. When we learn open intelligence, we recognize ourselves as powerful human beings. We see that there is nothing wrong about being negative at all. In fact, it's actually our fuel to be of benefit to all. We see that in every short moment, a short moment of open intelligence, a short moment of allowing everything to be as it is, of allowing everything to flow and by, there is an indestructible stability and clarity and openness. So when we come to the open meetings here in the morning, we hear the introduction of stop thinking for a moment. It's a very powerful introduction. Stop thinking for a moment. Stop thinking for instant, for briefest moment. And then what remains is quality that is always present, open intelligence. There is an immediate access to open intelligence. Open intelligence is always present. What remains? Openness, clarity, stability. What remains when you're positive or negative? What always remains? Hmm? So something always remains, open intelligence. So stop thinking for a moment. Introduce yourself to that vast intelligence and then train that up for short moments, repeated many times, until it becomes continuous. It's, it's the, these short moments, they're magical, really. We, we take a short moment, we don't know what we're going to happen. <laughs> but suddenly we notice in our own experience that we're more stable, more clear, more powerful, every day getting better and better. Not only one moment, not only one thought. Uh, all of them are <laughs> getting better and better not in the content maybe, but in its basics. In its basic open intelligence, we see, oh wow, we can actually be of great benefit to ourselves and others, and it doesn't matter what we think anymore. It's really like it's, 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 it's not the, the, the issue, it's not the topic, it's not the focus anymore. So that's how my life, they, they're less and less dramatic in that way. <laughs> you know how everything used to be for me so dramatic, so dramatic. One thought and then just feeling so sad for months. 
just about one story, indulging, replacing, and never giving up on that, <laughs> really wanting to be a victim of that. I love, the, the, I love to be dramatic. Also positively, I love that. Wow, everything is just amazing, beautiful, you know, going really indulging in stories and <sighs> feeling so excited and, you know, and then another negative thought coming and oh, ups and downs, ups and downs in the flow of life. I really expecting something positive to come up, hoping for tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow when we have holiday, <laughs> you know, Sunday. Oh, tomorrow when I meet my partner, <coughs> oh, tomorrow when I meet my partner, <laughs> like just having all these emotions and thoughts and fear, fear of being alive, fear of meeting people, social anxiety, fear of going to a party, of being with people, of speaking up, just fear, constant fear of being as we are. I know that I was fearing that, just totally being comfortable with myself. And then with open intelligence, short moments, repeatedly, it's like, don't need to babysit myself anymore. <laughs> it's like, I don't need to come pacify myself when I'm sad, you know. I don't need to replace it with uh, chocolate when I'm depressed. I don't need to think positively when I'm really, really, really negative. You know, it's like everything is responsive for the benefit of all. In every moment, these are the gifts and talents. That's what we see. That every moment, every data that we have is for the benefit of all. That our speech is a gift for the benefit of all. Our body as well. Qualities and activities. When we rely on open intelligence, then it opens up. It opens up with great exaltation, with great power. Our speech suddenly count, you know, like people really listen to us when we're in our open intelligence, rather than emphasizing our stories, our data streams. Like I used to complain a lot, to gossip, criticize, but when we're in open intelligence, there is no need to go there anymore. The speech is gift for the benefit of all. How do I want to use my speech? How do I want to use my time? What do I want to do today? With whom I want to spend time with? So you see our speech is so powerful. It can harm people, but it can be of great benefit to all. Same with our body. Same with our body. The same with our qualities and activities. Everything we wish to do, our, all of our passion, our greatest passion that we so, you know, we, we were so afraid to really share them with everyone because we thought, oh, what people think about us. You know, I'm not, capable enough, I'm, I'm too, you know, I'm, I don't have a power, I'm feeling small, I, they are more powerful than me, comparing myself to other people, but instead relying on open intelligence and being responsive to the benefit of all, just acting, functioning for the benefit of all, using everything like that in the flow of what is needed, like we do here, you see it's all happening like that. So the example of, um, of being together, meeting each other, we are all so different, right? We have all kinds of different opinions, background, history, but here it doesn't really matter. Everyone is united, everyone is just so beautiful together. We, we don't care where you come from or, or what kind of uh, opinions you have because what we really want to rely on is what will be of most benefit to all. So we use all of our data streams together and in a great discussion, <laughs> sometimes non-verbal even, <laughs> for the benefit of all. There's nothing to prove here or to make our point. And so that's what I come to say, came to say in this training, that I can really allow myself to be as I am. And more and more, like every day still, allowing myself to be as I am. I'm entirely ready to allow data streams to be as they are. Empowerment 7 today, we're entirely ready to allow data streams to be as we are, as they are, as we are. <laughs> so you see, that's, that's really great, like to come to that commitment and uphold this commitment. 
Am I entirely ready to allow data streams to be as they are, even just for today? You know, and then see the benefits of that. See how you can really, for the first time, just relate to people in a heartfelt way. And I know exactly what you mean with sharing gratitude and love. And, you know, when I learned on open intelligence, suddenly I just had the freedom to love more, to be grateful more, to see how people are so powerful and beneficial. They have so many gifts and talents. So that's, that's what I see in people. And then to speak in that way so people know that. They can understand that even if they're afraid or they feel uncomfortable, everyone loves to hear how great they are. <laughs> everyone loves to know that they're special. All of us, right? We want to know that we are doing good, that we are excellent, that we are powerful. So when we hear that, there are all kinds of reaction, but we continue on with the flow of gratitude, with one speech direction. And I love you. Thank you so much for everything you've done for me. <clears throat> and that, that speech is uh, <clears throat> unfakeable. And when, when it's being spoken, relying on open intelligence, it's very clear, very clear and powerful and just like going to the heart directly. So whatever it is, and we, we also see how in a puppet way how to say things, how to speak. We don't have now everyone today <laughs> just saying to each other, I love you, thank you for everything. And, you know, in a very natural way, just being as we are, being open to people, remaining open, like, just like that, you see. When we allow everything to be as it is, we are open. We are just completely open to everyone. And then with your powerful presence, you, you, you welcome everyone to your life, however they are. You support people, however they are. Also, in doing illness and death, you welcome people to the ultimate home the home of open intelligence, which is, uh, it has no location. <laughs> There's no location. Not, uh, it's locationless, descriptionless. So fast and open, pure, benefit for all. So that's what I see in my own life. The recognition of open intelligence becomes more and more powerful and apparent in my life, obvious in short moments of open intelligence and using the support of the four mainstays, which is basically inseparable from relying on open intelligence. You cannot really take four mainstays apart. Like the color blue in the sky, the four mainstays and open intelligence, the same. That's what it means to me. And you see, it, 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 because each of the four mainstays, it's, it's all of them. <laughs> Short moments, it's the community, it's the trainer, it's the training. The trainer is as well. And the training, the media, every, everything takes us back into our beneficial power. We store us back into our beneficial power. And joy, enjoyment of life, the spontaneous living. Spontaneous, spontaneous living, like everything we dream to do, what, whatever we want, nothing is dramatic anymore. What a blessing. What a blessing to live like that, to know it to be true in our own experience, not someone else's experience. When you read the texts in the Balanced View Training, it's not about someone else. It's about your experience and you're empowered to test it. You're empowered to really take advantage of the support and then see how, how it works for you in your life. I, I see that it works for me in my life. <laughs> I, I really do. You know, every day is just so pleasant, so pleasant and so relaxed. Even if many things are going on, and believe me, many things are going on, <laughs> right? But then it's, it's great because nothing is really challenging when you allow an open intelligence, you, you're doing some magics. Magic that, that people can understand, of course. I'm not speaking about <laughs> magic of reality, yeah, of relating, of just being as we are in a very natural way. And I, I was um, 
I did all kinds of things before the training. So I was hoping to get somewhere else. You know, somewhere else also not here as well. <laughs> not not here here, but just not in this universe. You know, just always dream, dream, dreaming about some kind of something that is not real. But now I see how reality is so magical, you know, so pure of benefit that all of us are so powerful, can be of great benefit to all. And that's for me, that's enough. That's for me enough to be of benefit to all. That's like the end destination, which is completely inexhaustible. Then when we come to rest with that power to be of benefit to all, then we are getting more and more powerful and amazing, really. When we open up to reality, we open up to people, we open up to ourselves, to our families, to our loved ones. And we, we, we see only gifts and talents. On an island of gold, everything is gold, like that. So I'm so very grateful for the Four Mainstays, for open intelligence and for the ability to communicate with, with all of you. <laughs>